Shout out to Killer, man. We we was talking about Orlando Brown, Ushkash, Bob the Beat, Bob Bob it up. Let's go uptown. <laughs> Killer. <laughs> Y'all see, see camera. He did us bad. He did us bad. I got one. You got I got one question. <laughs> was Pastor Mace busy? They didn't know. <laughs> Did CNN not Sick. know? We, we, CNN. Actually, we actually don't know because we're all, everybody is collectively confused. Like, why did you guys book Cam? Even Cam didn't know why he was booked. So I, I guess there's just a lot of confusion. But he still could have done a better job, I think. No, nah, I think he did an uh, amazing job. Let's listen to it. Something known in the industry about how Diddy treated Poor his reporter. artists. It was on CNN, guys. Yeah. Take a shot. Sometimes you gotta take a shot when you're doing a lot of work. nervous too. After this horse nah, run it back. You spoke over it. You His gotta run it back. Artists. <laughs> so I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower <laughs> joint. Um, horsepower joint. <laughs> I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said, and of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. Right. <laughs> but my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is, and y'all make sure y'all check it out. <laughs> I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there, but for me to tell you <laughs> how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent is <laughs> for this joint? Like, you think I'd be sitting around watching what Diddy doing? I didn't like know me. this was a Diddy joint that invited me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for hey, this yo, who joint? who the fuck booked this shit? Like, what's we really doing? <laughs> like, what the I love fuck? Cam on live TV. <laughs> I feel like yeah, somebody. Yeah, this isn't the first time. I love Kim on live TV. I, like he doesn't they, they had to want this. CNN, they they wanted this moment. That's what I'm confused about. That's what <sighs> a little bit of like the conversation has been. It's like okay, so did Cam really not know that he was booked to talk about Diddy? <laughs> did they tell him, and he, he still chose to act like this? Like, there's a lot of like I, I wonder what exactly happened. Like, did he purposely do this? Was he genuinely confused? Like, why the fuck did you guys book he, me? He like, did, he did Abby Phillips dirt, bro. Like, oh, that's the name of that young lady. Yeah, she's a, she's nah, a great CNN reporter anchor. for CNN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful woman. Great. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is what Jamel Hill says on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So something ain't adding up. I've done CNN hundreds of times, including the Abby show. Before every single appearance, a producer tells me or someone on my team what my segment is about and the types of questions that'll be asked. Uh, if you aren't a regular, the producers typically insist on a pre-interview either with you or someone on your team who relays your talking points. So one, either a producer didn't tell him or his team what kind of question he was going to be asked, or two, a producer told him or someone on his team, and he purposely decided to use this opportunity as a publicity stunt. I will say this, man. I ain't mad at no nigga plugging his business anyway. I, when I heard that, I respected. He was like, by the way, my show, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's pink, even, the, even that yeah, pink, pink horsepower. Horse power. Fellas, you you know. You tried that shit? Mm-hmm. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. The pink horse? I tried the blue joint, but they I ain't- got blue horse? Yeah, they got the blue joint. I'm niggas from Harlem. Yeah, they got some. I got you. <laughs> I didn't but, know that. But yo, I, Alec, yo, I, you, Heisenberg. You yo, me. I got yo, you, bro. This nigga be fun. Yeah, yo, Reggie. Yeah, yeah. I know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say Reggie. Reggie, Reggie was at this appointment. Y'all spoke that. Y'all spoke that. Y'all spoke I'm not saying nothing. You oh, said no. I know. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I know what you yeah. know. I know. You don't got to explain yeah. it. I know what you I know. Okay, 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 I'm okay, 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 you okay, okay. I know what you know. Guys, I'm, I'm a virgin. They're not, talking, they're not talking about me, okay? Yeah, no, I'll be doing that semen retention. So For sure. I just, I just hit some of that horsepower just to see if what, it still works. Where my body would fit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you got the BMW my, and shit. Horsepower, my, you got to go. Oh. You got to go full throttle. Wow. My blood was rushing off no, that shit. He said, I'm about to get some cheeks after this on CNN. On CNN. That was but as he should, like, <laughs> I, yeah, I respect that. Nah, nah, like, nah. Be your authentic self. Nah. Be you at all times. One of the things no. I always tell this story <laughs> a few years ago, straight out of college, I got an opportunity to work in a very corporate environment. Yeah. I, I didn't want to do that. I turned it down. I turned down a lot of money at that time to like be myself. I didn't, I, I wanted to be able to wear a hat. Alex, you wear sweatpants to your job. I do. That is a luxury. That is a blessing. You <laughs> yeah. don't have to conform to who it is they Bruh. want you to be. So when you ask me on your platform, I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna be me. No. Fuck y'all, motherfucker. Like, no. I, I think no. what you want to hear. What you <laughs> Oosh gosh, Bobby, to be bop, 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 nigga, go. He's like, he's a representative of us and he should have been more proud. I'm yeah, saying, let me hear what you say. Please. All right, so you got to look, you got to understand the moment that you're in, right? Right. 
for whatever reason, Mace wasn't available. But now you're you're standing proxy for the situation, right? You gotta understand that you're representing more than yourself. It can't just be about me. The whole, like for that in that moment, it then can't just be the about. Show. Then you don't know Cam. I'm, I know. I know. I, I've I've understood and I know yeah, Cam yeah, I in terms of like who he is. But at the same time, you're representing black people. Yeah. Nah. On CNN, he's not. That's not the time. Well, it, he's if, he, if he's not in his podcast, it is what it no, is. Bro. People don't care about that. People are only well, seeing oh, him. He can't be yeah. like the one person to represent like all black yeah. men and how they feel about it. So he's just like, so you know then what? don't I'm, take the but, but, No, but he also did say like, yo, I don't support what Diddy was doing in that video. Like, it's disgusting. Like, he yeah. started off by That's... saying, I saw the video. I don't support it. But yo, check out my show. That I, like, he, <laughs> like, you know, like. And you I, know, yeah. No, okay. And I will say this, right? Because I'm glad. I did want to hear Pierre's perspective because it's kind of balanced here. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. did have a talking point for this, right? Yeah. Uh, it's really surrounding. Uh, how tricky maturation is in hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people are like, yo, Cam still to... acts like this. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me, right? I love it. Especially with I how some rappers are introduced to us. Yeah. Right? Like, come on, we know Cam from being Cam, Dipset, <laughs> Paid in Full, Rico, all that fly shit, fly nigga shit, gangster shit. Facts. Talking Harlem. Harlem, talking player, talking fly, right? Yeah. And then Diddy. Right, and I don't want to group Cam and Diddy. I'm sure they didn't do the same types of things here. But uh, again, back to maturation in hip hop, right? Like, I think it is very hard for some of these people in hip hop, some of these men at least in hip hop, to find a, a, a cool kind of way to mature correctly. Mm -hmm. And I and I don't think they know how to gauge it. Or Cam, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. I think if we see Cam go conscious, oh my god, I, it, it's not going to bode well for him. What, what, nah, I, I, I disagree I, with that. I, oh, I would love to hear why. Because even when he's on, you, you think uh, niggas it is from what it is. Harlem want to hear that? <clears throat> I mean, and, and Cam, it could work both ways. <laughs> Real quick, I'm listening. In, in, in Cam's instance, right? Yeah. I think they, CNN, the powers that be, they selected Cam for a reason, right? <laughs> like no, you legit. Know, you're right. Like they they selected him is, for yo. a reason. <laughs> they tried to use him. And so to see him use the opportunity Absolutely. to be like, nigga, fuck, like this is this is what I do. Yeah. I do a ton of positive things. I got a co-host on the show and um Stab Baby, right? Yeah. Stab Baby, 22 year old. She started working on uh our show straight out of college. Yeah. She's changed her life. She's just one example of some of the positivity that I'm doing as mm -hmm. Cameron. Mm -hmm. Why don't y'all ever highlight that shit? Mm. But instead, y'all want to put me on y'all platform. Y'all want to put out. me on national TV yeah. when we talking about Diddy and his so nasty I'm, shit. Like, y'all don't call me when it's time for me to right. put on or mm -hmm. be a representative a for positivity. Right. So a I'm going to give y'all me at all times. It's a very good but point. But at the same time that he plugged pink, his uh, pink horsepower, he could have plugged all that. There's an art to... Hey, he did. When I'm, he, he said, had, I don't condone anything that that motherfucker is right. doing. Right. I'm okay. But so what, what else could he have plugged? What I'm saying is, this morning, he came out and said, hey, like... Um, exactly what you said. They always ask me to to say these things and never really about what I do. Cool. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Put him back into CNN last night. You were there, or uh, at the time of this recording, it was last night. You were there. In the, in the midst of the mm -hmm. interview, there's a way to plug in what it is that you want to do. So if he's saying now, hey, I wanted to plug in all the positive stuff that I do, he could have done yeah, that. You're saying he could have just but very he's well in, done that. He chose to plug no. pink. But they kept asking how did You though. tried to use me mm -hmm. in a moment as... Uh, a figurehead. You tried to use me as a mouthpiece. You tried to use me as a soundbite because you know what? You y'all called me because my podcast is so successful. Yeah. If I was just another nigga from that era, and 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 I don't I don't want to say any names, but there's a lot of people from Cam's era. Cam, he's been around since the '90s till yeah. now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who they probably could have called who may not be as relevant. The reason y'all called me is because somebody on your team said, "Oh, Cameron, rapper." 90s correlation with Diddy works with Mace. Y'all called me to be very strategic yeah. and specific right. yeah. to have me on your platform. So, so now that I'm on here, y'all are trying to use me for a clip. Y'all are trying to use me to speak out against somebody who I may have a relationship or even if y'all don't think I have a relationship with, y'all know for a fact my co-host, one of my mans, Mace, who I do a podcast with, he has a direct conversation or a direct uh, relationship with Diddy. So y'all are calling me for a reason. But still, though, like, there's, there's Wait, a way I, he could have... I, I just have a quick question. So if CNN really did want to say, like, Harlem Association, he's a rapper, whatever, and they wanted a rapper to come on the show and talk about it, are they wrong for asking Thank Cam? You. Like, Thank yo, you. we... Yeah, we want to have you on the show to talk about. I don't this. think they're I was, wrong. I was just I about. To, I I'm just asking. I was just about to bring that up, Reggie. See, Pierre, you're isolating this moment, 
right? For sure, yeah. I'm over here asking you, like, do you think it's easier for a person like uh, a Jada Kiss to mature in hip hop than a Cameron, right? Like, I could see how, like, a low key type, like, we saw Jada Kiss turn up for Diddy, right. the irony in there, right? Yeah. But again, he turned up because he had a reason why. And we wouldn't necessarily call that immaturity at that time, even though he said he wanted to throw a fridge on that nigga head. I would, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would side with you yeah. if I if I've never seen Cam be mature but, i've seen cam be able to but, be mature but, but that's the thing though it, it, th i'm talking about the maturation process as a whole bro. okay you get what i'm saying so like again we know who cameron is mm -hmm. the producers at cnn know who cameron is what does that mean it means like you're right We've seen moments of him being mature, but what have we seen more of? <laughs> him being like that on, national, being on national television. Right. So again, it just made me think about like, damn, like what is the proper way? I just feel like certain individuals have a tougher time finding a comfortable place to mature at Honestly, without looking at, look, looked at, being looked at as weird or anything like I that. I appreciate you know? the authenticity because yeah. there's a lot of people who get on certain platforms and can't be themselves. Yeah, it's a fact. So for him, and we see it every single for every single the last however many decades we've seen him get on um, Fox News. We've seen him yeah. now on CNN. We see him on his podcast. He is who he is. It is what it is. Like I, I respect it yeah. personally. I understand what you're saying, P. Like maybe he's supposed to be a representative, but again, somebody who's been in the game for so long, like you understand what it is that they're doing. The propaganda, the the the, the strategic selection of choosing me to talk about this. And then, again, y'all ain't asking me anything about what I got going on. Y'all think I'm just going to sit here and talk about another man who I don't give a fuck about, who clearly is a piece of shit, mm -hmm. who y'all know is a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all just got me on and here to co-sign the fact that he's a piece of shit. And not for nothing. You know how many niggas got erectile dysfunction watching CNN? There's, but there's nothing wrong with that. Do you know how many of them got erectile <laughs> dysfunction watching CNN? But what they got to there, do? There's with nothing wrong He with plugged that. his, uh, Big his, his sex juice. Oh. He, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad at the fact that he did that. Cool. Yeah. They didn't ask you about it, but you still chose to do that. Cool. Right. Just as easily as he did that, he could have also done the same for everything else that they do positive. Maybe. But, maybe but Mace was choose, praying. He didn't. Cho he didn't decide in that moment. Hey, like I know they're not asking me. Like, yo, bro, I I do vi I do video and interview stuff all day. It's basically what I do with in life, right? I've seen people be able to, and again, in in maturity, be able to. Hey, like. They didn't say this, but I'm going to just say this in the flow of what I'm saying. I think that was mature. I think when he said, I'm about to get some cheeks, <laughs> he could have used a lot of other words for cheeks. And <laughs> he could have used a that lot. Is, that like, is an accurate representation. Is, yeah. I think that is an accurate. Like, and not for nothing. This is who yeah, I yeah. am. Why are you ashamed of a black man saying those things <laughs> no, on national there, television? There's, huh? a, there's a way he could have said it, right? Why? One, Be two, more proper and adhere bro, to America's two, guidelines? Two, he's got, <laughs> he, he's got Abby there. Like, yo, yeah, represent yeah. us as a whole. I, like, I, Abby, I, I would Abby. be proud. Like, yeah. Go, go, Alex. Because I'm like, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> I did kind of feel a little bad for Abby because you could tell, like, she also I that's very that's yeah. very hard. Like that job, she's 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 talent like, though. You know, we we work in this space. Talent yeah. is gonna be talent. You're gonna show up, yeah. do what you no, told. She, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why I'm yeah, like, yeah. In that she, moment, she just wanted to do the best job. And she's yeah. a professional. She Absolutely. did exactly what she was supposed Absolutely. to do. Yeah. The only thing that I'm like, damn, I wish it a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I wish it would have been a different show. I wish it would have been somebody who wasn't black. <laughs> Like I wish you would have had been that interaction crazy. with somebody. Nah, that, that might have been worse. Been, I don't know if it would have been worse, but I'm it's crying. like because what I did and what I want everybody else to do when y'all go watch this cam clip, I want y'all to watch her. She's a professional. Stoic. She didn't break character. Facts. She didn't smirk. Yep. She didn't laugh. She didn't even acknowledge the fact that she knew the language that he was speaking. Yeah. Because as black people, we all know. We, we all, understand. I don't give a fuck. And I'm gonna talk to everybody right now in black. Like she no good, matter too. how uptight. You are, no matter how educated you are, no matter wherever you are, your status in life, we yeah. all got a cousin, an uncle, a friend <laughs> who talks like like that, like that, like yeah. who we talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, all, it does. It does not matter. It doesn't matter the rooms are we in. So I can assure you that Abby has a, a relative, a, a family member, a For friend, sure. a friend of a friend who yeah. she's been around in some capacity that has talked like Cam, who has looked like Cam. She understood the language. She oh, ain't yeah. asked him. Hey, so when tell. you say you're gonna get some cheeks, what is cheeks? <laughs> yeah. Now I can tell she used to uh, fuck some hood niggas. <laughs> 